Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. You can create crosstab queries to answer questions about how data within the columns of a table or query relates to each other. Crosstab queries display one of the columns down the left side of a result table and another column across the top of the table. In the intersecting cells, you'll find a calculation about a third related column for each of the two intersecting values of the field at the top and the field at the left. For example, if you had a table or a query that showed the salesperson, the product sold, and the number of each product sold, you could create a crosstab query that would sum the total amounts of each product sold for each salesperson. Now when you create a crosstab query, it's important to remember that the crosstab has to be based on a single table or query. Many times these types of queries are based on other queries that you may have created. As a single base table in our relational database rarely has the necessary data for a meaningful crosstab analysis. For example, you would very rarely see in a good relational database the salesperson, the product, and the total sum of the quantity that they sold. That would be breaking, I'm sure, some sort of relational database rule, one of the normalization guidelines. So most of the time, you actually make a query that has the information that you then run the crosstab on. Now, when you um, run the crosstab, it's important to note that they display their answer in a spreadsheet-like format, and as such, the result set of a crosstab query is never updatable. An access gives you a crosstab query wizard to assist you in creating your crosstab queries. Once you have your base that you're going to use for your crosstab, to run the wizard, choose queries in the objects pane of the database container, click New, and choose the crosstab query wizard, and then just click OK. In the crosstab query wizard, the first screen will prompt you to select the table or query upon which you wish to create the crosstab. You can select the desired table or query in this screen, and then click Next to continue. So here we're going to choose queries. The query we wanted to use was called crosstab base. And then I click Next. Here it asks me what fields values do you want as the headings for your rows, and you can choose up to three. Let's say I would like to choose the first name, and I click the right pointing arrow to add that to the selected fields, and the last name. And those two columns will be my row headings. Then I click Next. The next screen asks what fields values do you want as your column headings. So here we would want the product name, and then we click Next. Then for the intersecting cells, for each product sold by each salesperson, we are going to take the field sum of quantity, and what function would we like to perform on it? Let's choose to sum the sum of quantity field. It will then ask if we want to summarize each row, and we can choose yes, include row sums, to get a total of the sum of the field, in this case sum of quantity, that the individuals shown in the rows sold. Go ahead and click Next, and it asks us what we want to name our query. Type in the name for your crosstab query and click Finish. So here we can see each salesperson, the total amounts that they sold, and then for each product, how much each one of them sold, or didn't sell as the case may be. And oftentimes, these might then be exported over to a spreadsheet for a pivot table analysis if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.